What's really happening in Florida's housing market? Hold on tight because you might not believe it. Home inventories have ballooned by a staggering 1,000% in some areas, hinting at a potential market crash that could slash home prices by up to 40%. Yes, 40%. Today, we're diving deep into a crisis unfolding right before our eyes in the Sunshine State's real estate scene. You've seen the headlines, but today we're going beyond them. From explosive inventory increases to plunging prices, we're covering it all. Is this the bubble bursting or just a market correction? In just the past three years, places like Cape Coral have seen home inventories rise tenfold. Meanwhile, prices are starting to plummet and experts predict we're just at the beginning of a significant downturn. This isn't just numbers on a page, it's the reality for thousands of homeowners and potential buyers in Florida. Today, we'll explore what's driving these drastic changes and what it means if you're looking to buy, sell, or just understand the market. Stay with us because this is one episode you cannot afford to miss. The Current State of the Florida Housing Market In Florida, the housing market is experiencing an unusual surge in available properties, which has significantly impacted both inventory levels and home prices across the state. This shift is particularly evident in major cities such as Miami, Tampa, and Orlando, where the increase in homes for sale is drastically reshaping the market landscape. Miami, known for its dynamic real estate market, has seen a 58% increase in housing inventory compared to last year, according to data from the National Association of Realtors. This rise is far from isolated, with Tampa and Orlando reporting even more significant surges. Tampa's housing inventory has increased by over 70%, while Orlando has witnessed a 65% jump. These figures reflect not just a seasonal fluctuation, but a profound change in the market dynamics, indicating a shift towards a buyer's market. The consequences of this increased inventory are becoming visible in the form of declining home prices. Areas that were once seller's markets are witnessing a transition, with sellers reducing prices to attract buyers in a competitive environment. For instance, Fort Lauderdale has experienced an average price reduction of 12% this year. This trend is echoed in Jacksonville and other mid-level markets throughout the state where average price reductions hover around 8%. Economists and market analysts are closely monitoring these developments. A Bloomberg report highlighted that these shifts could mark a significant turning point for Florida's housing markets. The sentiment is that the current trends may not be temporary but could indicate a longer-term market correction. Such corrections are influenced by various factors, including economic policies, changes in buyer preferences, and broader economic conditions. The increase in remote work has also played a role, as more people are moving away from traditional urban centers to suburban or less densely populated areas, where they can get more space for their money. The current state of Florida's housing market presents a mixed bag of opportunities and challenges. For buyers, the increased inventory and reduced prices might represent a golden opportunity to enter the market or upgrade to a larger home. However, for sellers, the situation is more challenging. They must navigate a market where they may need to lower their price expectations or improve their properties to stand out in a crowded market. Looking ahead, the key for both buyers and sellers will be to stay informed and adaptable. Buyers should be aware that while lower prices may be enticing, they need to consider other factors such as interest rates and the overall cost of home ownership. Sellers, on the other hand, need to be realistic about pricing and may need to make strategic improvements to their properties to attract serious offers. Florida's housing market is at a pivotal moment. The dramatic increase in inventory and the corresponding drop in prices are reshaping the real estate landscape, making it crucial for market participants to carefully analyze trends and adapt their strategies accordingly. Historical Context and Comparison In the golden sunshine of Florida, something startling is unfolding in the housing market. If you thought the 2008 crisis was a once-in-a-lifetime event, you might want to buckle up. We're diving deep into how the current market compares to the infamous crash of 2008, and trust me, the similarities and differences are both enlightening and a bit unnerving. Back in 2008, Florida was one of the epicenters of the housing market collapse. Sky-high property values plummeted almost overnight as the bubble burst, leading to widespread foreclosures and financial ruin for many. 
Fast forward to today, and we're seeing some eerily similar trends. According to a recent report from the Wall Street Journal, areas like Cape Coral and Miami are once again seeing ballooning inventories, this time increasing by up to 1,000% in some zip codes compared to three years ago. The pace at which these inventories are rising could spell trouble, reminiscent of the pre-2008 warning signs. However, there are notable differences this time around. For starters, the financial backbone of today's housing market is much sturdier. After the last financial crash, stricter lending regulations were implemented to reduce the risk of widespread loan defaults by borrowers. Bloomberg highlights that today's borrowers generally have better credit scores and more robust down payments, which theoretically should mitigate the risk of a similar collapse. Yet, despite these safeguards, the market is showing signs of strain under the current economic pressures. CNN recently reported that while the lending environment might be healthier, the rapid increase in home prices over the past few years, coupled with rising interest rates, is beginning to price out many potential buyers. This scenario is creating a buildup of unsold homes, much like the early signs of the 2008 crisis. What's particularly interesting is how the demographic trends are shaping the market differently this time. Millennials, now entering their prime home buying years, are facing a market that is vastly more challenging than what their parents encountered. The combination of high prices, limited inventory of affordable starter homes, and rising interest rates creates a unique form of market tension that didn't exist to the same extent in 2008. While there are parallels to the crisis of 2008, such as rising inventory and pricing pressures, the underlying economic landscape and regulatory environment have evolved. This suggests that while we may not be heading for a crash of the same magnitude, the market is undoubtedly on a precarious edge. For anyone looking to buy or sell in Florida today, staying informed and cautious is key. Understanding these historical and current trends will be crucial in navigating what comes next in the Sunshine State's ever-dynamic real estate saga. Drivers Behind the Surge in Inventory In a state known for its sunshine and retirees, the housing inventory has surged dramatically, a phenomenon driven by a complex blend of economic shifts and buyer behavior changes. Why do you think this happened? Firstly, the aftermath of the pandemic has reshaped how and where people choose to live. With remote work becoming a new norm for many, there's been a significant migration of workers moving away from crowded city centers to more suburban and rural areas. According to CNN, the shift has led to increased demand in typically quieter areas of Florida, which initially drove prices up and now is resulting in a ballooning of inventory as builders rush to meet this new demand. Economic policies have also played a crucial role. Interest rates, kept historically low during the pandemic to stimulate economic growth, have begun to rise. A recent report from Bloomberg noted that these rising rates are making mortgages more expensive, which slows down buying activity. As buyers pause to see how the situation unfolds, sellers who rushed into the market to capitalize on high prices are now stuck with properties they can't sell as quickly as anticipated. Please take two seconds to help me out and hit the like and subscribe if you find this video interesting so far. Each like and subscribe helps support this channel and keeps us motivated to keep making you great content. Thank you. Now, back to what I was saying. Another significant factor is the shift in buyer demographics and preferences. The Wall Street Journal highlighted that millennials, now entering their home buying years, are facing a market that's drastically different from what previous generations encountered. This group is more debt-averse, giving their experiences during the Great Recession, and more environmentally and socially conscious, which influences their buying decisions. They tend to prefer homes that are affordable, well-located, and environmentally sustainable, which are not always available in current inventories. Furthermore, Florida's appeal to out-of-state buyers has dramatically increased inventory. Many from higher-taxed states see Florida not only as a sunny paradise, but as a tax haven leading to a real estate rush that has not been fully sustained. As these buyers retreat due to changing economic conditions or fulfilled demand, the market finds itself with an excess of unsold homes. Lastly, let's talk about overbuilding. Encouraged by initial spikes in demand and prices, developers may have overestimated the market's capacity. The Wall Street Journal reports that new housing developments have overshot actual demand 
leading to an unprecedented rise in unsold new homes. The surge in Florida's housing inventory is not due to a single factor, but a storm of economic shifts, policy changes, and evolving buyer behaviors. These elements combined have created a unique challenge for the market, balancing between past growth spurts and current economic realities. Local insights and anecdotes. In Florida, the housing market's tale is as diverse as its landscape. Ranging from bustling urban centers like Miami to the tranquil suburban stretches of Fort Lauderdale, each region reflects unique challenges and transformations driven by shifting economic forces and buyer preferences. For instance, in Miami, known for its vibrant real estate scene, local agents report an unusual trend. Properties are lingering on the market for weeks longer than before. The slowdown marks a dramatic shift from the previously heated market where bidding wars were the norm. Further north in Tampa, residents echo similar sentiments. The expectation of quick sales has given way to a more stagnant environment, where homes await the right buyer rather than being snapped up in frenzied competition. This cooling trend is not isolated to Miami and Tampa. In Orlando, the influx of buyers from high tax states, which had bolstered the market, is seeing a downturn. Analysts note that the surge in demand led to overbuilding and the city now grapples with a surplus of homes, reminiscent of the early 2000s. This increased inventory is putting pressures on prices and leading to longer sale times, altering the dynamics of what was once a seller's market. The suburban regions tell a different part of Florida's real estate story. In areas like Fort Lauderdale, the pandemic-induced demand for more spacious homes has kept the market buoyant. However, even this demand is showing signs of saturation as more homeowners enter the market, hoping to capitalize on the trend but finding themselves part of an expanding inventory struggling to find buyers. Local homeowners express a mix of surprise and resignation, noting that while their expectations for a quick sale were high, reality has proven more challenging. Naples presents yet another facet of Florida's complex housing landscape. Here, the luxury property market continues to attract high-end buyers, but the frenzy that marked previous years has noticeably cooled. Buyers are now approaching negotiations with greater caution and leveraging the increasing inventory to press for better deals. Agents report that the days of easy sales at sky-high prices are dwindling as even affluent buyers become more price sensitive in response to broader economic cues, such as fluctuating interest rates and the national economic outlook. Market analysts, including those from reputable sources like the Wall Street Journal and Bloomberg, suggest that while Florida remains attractive to a diverse range of buyers, the overall conditions, such as rising mortgage rates and economic uncertainty, are tempering the initial enthusiasm. The state's real estate market, once fueled by a combination of low interest rates and a surge in out-of-state buyers seeking tax advantages, is now facing the reality of these temporary boosts wearing off. The unfolding scenario in Florida's housing market underscores a critical transition period. The once rapid-paced market is adjusting to a new equilibrium impacted by economic shifts and changing buyer behaviors. For potential buyers and sellers, understanding these nuances is crucial. The market's current state offers opportunities and challenges alike. Buyers may find better deals, while sellers might face stiffer competition and the need for strategic pricing. Economic and Market Implications Florida's housing market is teetering on an edge with a staggering 30% increase in housing inventory statewide compared to last year. This significant rise could potentially precipitate a cascade of economic consequences, echoing the distressing period of the 2008 financial crisis. Today, we're delving into the profound economic implications of this looming housing downturn and what it signifies for the broader Florida economy. The rise in inventory has immediate implications for the construction sector, which is a cornerstone of Florida's economy. According to Bloomberg, new construction projects could decrease by as much as 20% in the next year if the current trend continues. This pullback in construction activity could lead to job losses in the sector, impacting thousands of families across the state. During the last housing market downturn, construction employment fell by 15%, and similar figures could re-emerge if the situation deteriorates. Consumer spending is also heavily influenced by housing market conditions. A recent analysis by CNN 
CNN pointed out that during past downturns, an 18% drop in home prices led to a nearly 3% reduction in consumer spending statewide. This is particularly significant in a consumer-driven economy like Florida's, where retail and services are pivotal. Reduced spending can ripple through the economy, affecting everything from small local businesses to large corporations. The potential drop in home prices also threatens local government finances, which rely heavily on property taxes. If home values decline, so too will the property tax revenues that fund everything from public schools to emergency services. The Wall Street Journal reported that a similar scenario during the last downturn led to a budget shortfall in several Florida counties, forcing cuts to essential public services. Yet it's not all doom and gloom. The demographic trends fueling Florida's growth, such as the influx of retirees and millennials, might cushion the blow. The Wall Street Journal notes that despite the challenges, the ongoing demand from these groups could stabilize the market faster than expected. For instance, despite the overall downturn, areas like Sarasota and Naples are seeing less severe declines thanks to their popularity with retirees seeking warmer climates and tax-friendly policies. The future of Florida's housing market and its economic implications are complex and multifaceted. As the market continues to adjust, those invested in Florida's economy, be it homeowners, investors, or policymakers, must remain vigilant and adaptable. Advice for home buyers and investors. In a market as volatile as Florida's current housing scene, where inventory has surged by nearly 30% in just one year, according to Bloomberg, Navigating the real estate waters requires more than just a casual understanding of market trends. This dramatic increase in available properties presented both a unique challenge and a golden opportunity for home buyers and investors. Here's how you can smartly navigate these turbulent waters. Firstly, for prospective home buyers, the current market conditions suggest a buyer's market where the power lies with you, not the sellers. With an abundance of choices and sellers anxious to close deals, negotiating power is stronger than ever. According to a recent Wall Street Journal report, buyers are now in a position to negotiate down prices by up to 10% from the initial listing prices without risking losing the deal. It's a stark contrast to the seller's market we've seen in previous years where bidding wars were the norm. However, diving into such a market requires careful preparation. The first step is securing financial pre-approval. As highlighted by CNN, mortgage rates are fluctuating and locking in a rate with pre-approval could save you from future hikes that would otherwise increase your buying costs. Tools like online mortgage calculators provided by major financial institutions can help you understand what you can afford, factoring in current interest rates and your financial status. Another crucial step is to harness the power of technology to stay informed. Real estate apps and websites offer real-time data on market trends, property values, and neighborhood statistics. Platforms like Zillow or Realtor.com not only provide listing prices, but also historical data on how those prices have fluctuated, which can be invaluable in spotting trends and making informed decisions. Additionally, subscribing to local real estate newsletters can give insights into specific dynamics of areas you're interested in, which is particularly useful given Florida's diverse market conditions. For investors, the approach needs to be slightly different. The focus should be on long-term trends rather than immediate fluctuations. Bloomberg's investment tools and analytics offer deep dives into market forecasts, helping you understand which areas are expected to appreciate over time. This is crucial because while the current market may offer lower prices, not all investments will pay off in the long run. Areas with growing employment opportunities, such as those near major infrastructure projects or new New business developments are likely to see property values rise. Furthermore, consider the rental market. CNN reports that rental demand in suburban Florida areas has increased as more people look for less dense living conditions. Investors should analyze the rental yield of properties, which is the annual rent divided by the property price. High yield properties can provide steady income and a good return on investment. Thanks for watching and please make sure you subscribe if you enjoyed the video and watch this one as well.